This is Star Talk Radio, where we bring the universe down to Earth. I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson here with Colin Jost. Colin, as always, welcome to Star Talk. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Uh, we, we're in the Cosmic Queries part of our time travel show, mm -hmm. and you're bringing questions called from the cosmos. That's right. Right, right here into the studio. And Mostly from Earth so far, but <laughs> we'll see. So far. Yeah. Uh, and so we left off with someone who wanted some numerical... Yeah, Tell they me wanted, that again. They wanted, they wanted you to fully solve a math problem. It was uh, basically a year to get to a giant black hole. You spend a year orbiting it, and then a year back to Earth. So three years total. Uh, are you actually traveling backward in time? How much time has really elapsed for the traveler? Okay, so... Or, I'm sorry, how much time has elapsed on Earth? Fortunately, we just came out of a break. <laughs> so I was able to actually... <laughs> or you fully solved this whole I, thing. I, it was great to watch. Dust off my... <laughs> <laughs> my relativity equations and my, uh, so uh, here's the thing: the, the, a, a nearby black hole is is in the constellation Cygnus, and it was the very first black hole ever discovered and confirmed. It's called Cygnus X1, and it's hmm. called X because it comes from an X-ray catalog of objects. And we came to learn that when a star is getting flayed by a black hole, a star that's in orbit around the black hole, that the descending material can, in its attempt to spiral down the toilet bowl, can be heated to very extreme, to extreme temperatures, so hot that it not only radiates red hot and white hot and blue hot, blue hot is the hottest among the temperature, uh, among the colors that you can radiate, it actually radiates in x-rays. You can do the calculation and show that that's how hot the material is, and so the first x-ray telescopes in the 1960s and early 70s we're essentially discovering black holes in our midst. So they picked up something and they discovered it was that mass yeah, accelerating so fast. An ordinary star doesn't give us x-rays of that level. And then you look carefully and the star is orbiting something you can't even see what's there. There's your black hole. Wow. And is that is it speed that's Lurking. making it uh, build in heat? Yeah, exactly. So as the material spirals down, it speeds faster and faster wow. and faster. And there's friction as it spirals down. Friction with itself as it tries to get into this tiny little hole. And that heats it up. It heats it up ferociously. And you get uh, uh, lots of ultraviolet light, lots of x-rays, and occasionally gamma rays. If, so, they could, if they could sell tickets to watch that. I would that, so would do be, it. Yeah, that would be like an even better search to, 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 to watch a, a star get flayed by a black <laughs> hole. That's... <laughs> <laughs> to, so, so a Cygnus X1 is 6,000 light years away. All right? So a beam of light... If you watched it, it would, you'd have to wait 6,000 years for it to get there. So, you want to get there in one year? Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, I would love to. You want to get there in one year. Okay. So, by your, by your own time. So, we get bringing the equations of relativity. Mm -hmm. um, if you must know, um, you're comparing two times. The time you on Earth would measure versus yeah. the time the person traveling would, would experience. And in there, there is a factor of the square root of 1 minus V squared over C squared. And v squared is your velocity, c squared is, of course, the speed of light. Yes. There it is. It's just, of course. Uh, did I have to say what that? What else? No. What, of course. I wasn't, I wasn't thinking cookie. <laughs> I was thinking the speed, the speed of light. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> what happens is the faster you go, the slower time ticks for you. And so we're going to slow down your time so much so that only one year passes by. Meanwhile, 6,000 years passes by for people on Earth. That speed is 99.9999986% of the speed of light. I was going to guess that. <laughs> so that's damn near the speed of light. The point is, you're going to speed essentially the speed of light, but not quite, but close enough so that we watching you, it'll take you 6,000 years to get there. You, however, your clock, your watch, your metabolism, your brain thoughts, the timer on your microwave oven, everything in your ship has slowed down as far as we can tell looking at you, okay? And so, um, so, so there so it is. You're experiencing, you think it's a year, but we would say it's 6,000 years from here. That's correct. You're, oh. I think you're taking 6,000 years and you're just moving really slow. Wow. That's right. So that's 6,000 years there. So, so if I'm someone who's perennially late and I'm trying to find, a, find new excuses for my <laughs> employer, 
This uh, might be one I might want to look Maybe. Into. We'll find you a black hole to do this. Okay. So it's 6,000 years there. Then we just add the year that you're in orbit around the black hole, 6,000 years back. You would have gone into our future by 12,001 years, and you would have aged only three years. There it is. But everyone would have forgotten about you. So you, people wouldn't even be able to say, oh, you look so good, because they'd be like, you... you." Anyone who would have said that would have been long <laughs> decomposed <laughs> in the Earth. 